all right guys welcome to another video in this video i want to show you how to lay multiple stickers for printing on main top if you're a new into large format printing one of the first things you really want to find out is how do i lay a lot of stickers at once for print so let's say for instance you have a design like this i'm just gonna go into here and pick just about any design let's say i pick this dark one i load it up now let's say the sticker you want to print is a two by two inch sticker i know it's two by two inches because if i click on this button right here and this button at the bottom of here i want to set here as two by two so that's how i know it's two by two inches not because of the file now so this is a two by two inch now the page setup for this particular uh print if you go to file page setup you see 24 inch by 24 inch one thing you need to know is that main top is always coded in inches not in feet so there's really no way to do feet in main top you only have to do inches or millimeters so the size of this job is 24 inches by 24 inches. If I zoom out, I'll see how small 2 inch is in a 24 inch by 24 inch grid. Now, I have a 2 by 2 inch sticker and I want to have it fill up 24 by 24, in 24, by 24 inch. Alright, the easiest way to do that would be to go to calculator and uh, click open and then first divide 24 by 2 you have 12. now what that means is that we will have 12 stack of 24 running across this way okay fine so how do we do that efficiently are we supposed to copy like this and then be pasting it multiple times in main top, that's one of the ways you can do it. So if you, like I pasted like that, I've copied and I've pasted a couple more times. If I select everything that I've pasted, and then I come to this point over here, you'll see the next button to it. It shows you three dots with one in the middle. That's telling you an horizontal distribution. I could set a number here that would be the space in between each of the file legs. In this case, we have 0 0.03 inches. That's really small. But that's just perfect because if we're going to use a scissors to slit the sticker, then we would need to be able to put at least some margin in between so that we're not going to be running into any file. So once you have set whatever size you want, you can then press this button. And then that will distribute all of those stickers across the entire space. So now you can select the excess and then throw it out. And then you now have this many. To ensure that all the files are starting at the right position vertically, you press this button to align all of them to the top. This button again, I say. So then you zoom out. Having selected all of them together, now we need to know how many stack will go down this way. Well, if you we go back to our calculator again, we already know we'll have 12 pieces of 2 in 24. Now, if that is the same for the height, then all we need to do is to group this guy together by pressing Ctrl G. And then you copy again and then paste it 11 more times. The reason you are pasting 11 more times is because you are pasting 11 unique other objects other than the first. So 11 including the first one you're copying from will make it 12. So now that we've copied it, there we can paste 11 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Now we'll again select everything at once and then we run it down like that. So now everything has a space of 0 0.0394 to the left and right and everything has a space of 0 0.0394 to the top and the bottom 
And once you've done that, you can then group these objects. Now you go back to your page setup and then add a bit of margin at the sides. So you can then make this 25 and then you go back to page setup and make the other side as well 25 to accommodate for the new additions that you've made. And once you've done this, you can just select print, properties, auto set paper, click OK, and then run your print. So that's pretty much how to lay multiple stickers in main top. I hope this has helped you. If it has, I want you to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, turn on the notification bell, and I'll see you in another video. Bye. Take care.